fixed! Go back! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I totally forgot it's seven speed. <laughs> I just heated it as max possible to the right yeah. and it's like, fuck! <laughs> like, that's a very big drop from four to five. <laughs> Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Sunny Nivakring here at Apex and welcome to a very special video because we haven't had an... Uh, uh, wait, C7, <laughs> Corvette C7 on channel before. We did C8 last year, recently we had also C6, not that one, another one that got a bit hot. And C7, I have been a passenger in one, uh, never made a video of it. And now, thanks to Patrick, we'll be driving one. So first of all, thank you so much for this opportunity. And it's also not stock, which I really love and appreciate. So tell us a bit about it. The cooling is completely different. Gearbox cooler is from the CO6. Differential cooler is from the CO6. Nice. And the front cooler is from Mishimoto. I love it here. You know, it says that you're a proper track car guy because you start with the mods and you say cooling, 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 cooling. It's not like, oh, we put 200,000 horsepower in it. No, okay, cooling, that's very good. All kinds of differential gearbox and uh, the engine. You mentioned the brakes as well. Gyro disc rotors and the target RSL 29 pads. Nice, very good combo. And just target RSL 29s on the rears, you told me? Yeah. Yeah, and then for the tires, we are on Cup 2s. Yeah, very sticky, so no driver excuses. And a different suspension you mentioned, V3. But you're considering getting something more stiffer, especially with these yeah. tires, I can imagine that it might be beneficial. Power-wise, important. So stock LS 6.2? It's not completely stock. Intake is from MST. Okay. And, uh, the software is optimized. It has now 485 horsepower. <laughs> nice. 674 and 47 Newton meters. Well, I guess let's hop in and do that. possible to the right yeah. and it's like fuck <laughs> like that's a very big drop from four to five <laughs>
not, but they're actually really good. For not being a bucket seat, a true bucket seat, they offer good support. And the seating position is very nice. Getting used to the gear ratios is a... Uh... Yeah, the, the, the gear ratio is so, so long. Yeah, 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 like this I was third, but actually a lot of sections, you need to be like a gear lower. Like Brunchen is almost second gear. Yeah. Now Flans Garden should have been downshifted to third, but once you're already going, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not gonna bring much. But uh, yeah, love it. Really great emotional car, like you said, last manual, V8 or one of the last ones for sure yeah. uh, and the last true Corvette with the <laughs> engine in the front my only complaint like about this car is that the gear ratios are quite low quite long especially with seven gears like why would you make them this long I mean it's, maybe it's like the, the gears five six and seven are just for overdrive, for overdrive yeah, yeah. yeah for the American highway yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. For fuel consumption yeah. for saving the California state tax uh, I know it's based on emissions but yeah. blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> um, no and yeah like I said this is like 
because it's so low, like with shifting, I'm constantly with my elbow trying to fight something. But for the rest, the balance is really good of the car. The emotion is, of course, fantastic. Like, uh, of course, suspension is a bit on the soft side, but uh, we still managed to go pretty fast through Fox Hall. Yeah. Exit out of it was also quite good and then uh, later I don't know force you could play with a bit of lift of oversteer car went the back and stepped out so just like to get the car straight for the next for the second turn and uh, it was great I hope you had a bit of fun yes it was amazing <laughs> <laughs> and you thought that, that the grid can go this fast yeah yeah no definitely yeah suspension like you said uh, would be a good next point but for the rest car it doesn't need anything I mean my driver excuse on top is just a hard reality. Before this, I drove an Audi S4, okay. um, which is by all means not a race car. It has, of, it's of course, had a modified brakes and um, power, but it's had stock suspension, so and brakes by far not as good as this. So I had to really recalibrate my brain yeah. on the first immediately lap to uh, see that, like, okay, here we can brake tomorrow, yeah. and the car will stop yesterday. You know, it's. Uh, it's really good so but I still I didn't use the full brake potential what and the car is like it has that potential so it could have been more spicy the lap but I don't think it was necessary it was it was good everything perfect like I said the only complaint I had is is this but and another thing is for example if you decide to go Let's go even race here. Yeah. We, we put stiffer suspension on, so then you would start maybe moving in the seats a yeah, bit more. Yeah, yeah. So next point is bucket seats. Bucket seats is lower, then you're even lower with your arms and shifting. Then it becomes a bit of a like, uh, but I'm sure these people, like, uh, what's it called? These cars are being driven properly. Corvette engineers know what I'm doing. I'm just a complaining YouTuber who doesn't know what to talk about. Yeah. So no, it's uh, it's amazing. And yeah, the seventh gear moment was a good. <laughs> we were smiling, like, what the fuck? Uh, like, hold on. The funny thing is that it's happening to, to everyone. You really? Yeah. Uh, when you're driving the, the, this car for the first time, yeah. everybody has problems shifting from fourth to yeah. fifth gear because they're always going for the full right side. Of course, you're going full because you don't yeah. want to on the highest rest on four, you don't want to eat it into the into the third. Yeah. So you go in maximum to the right and you end up in seventh. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. But uh, yeah, that, that would require some finesse to get used to, but it was fun. It was fun. Thanks again, Patrick. It was amazing. Really enjoyed. We can park up next to the C6. Uh, I, I think I know this guy from, from Salzburg. Huh? Uh, He's a bit close on the line, so maybe I'll just put it where yeah. we were. That was crazy. Man. Glad you enjoyed. <laughs> I had also lots of fun. Woo, man. And they were, were thinking about man, he's driving traction control off, and how is the the, the car so stable? If you know uh, where the traction limit of the tire is, it's yeah. uh, we're not pushing it too crazy. Like especially, in the, I'm always quite gentle in the corner just to make sure that there's yeah, like yeah. nothing nothing crazy so it's uh it, it, it's good it's uh yeah, the, the next tip is buying uh, i like a small cage in the back and four point harness mm -hmm. amazing thanks again man it was fantastic You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>